scientists are now using ingestible computers to do things that were once considered science fiction. Well, scientists are not shrinking humans just yet, but they are sending computers into our bodies to diagnose what is wrong with us. Albert Swiston joins us. He's a biomaterial scientist at MIT, and he is one of those working on this issue, experimenting with sensors inside of pigs. Hi there. Hi, thanks for having me. You are using these devices to monitor three vital signs at once in pigs. This is a new development in the field. Explain how it works. It's a device that's so small, it's about the size of a, a large multivitamin pill that you might take, that is able to listen to your heart and listen to your lungs and has a thermometer on board that can tell you what your heart rate, your breathing rate, and what your body core temperature are. And then it can send that data outside of you to, say, a smartphone or to a laptop computer and tell you what those vital signs are without touching the body. So it's not a wearable. It's an ingestible. We can already monitor heart rate, breathing rate, things like that. What's the value of monitoring it by swallowing something instead of just by, you know, putting a stethoscope to your chest? The advantage here is that there are some bits of information from the body, namely the, the temperature of the body, that can only be monitored inside the body. And so we're thinking of markets where, say, a patient comes into an emergency room and needs to be monitored for only a short period of time or you just had a surgery and you're being sent home and you wanna monitor your core temperature looking for fever because maybe you're worried about having acquired an infection in the hospital. And so you'd only use it for a few weeks. We're talking about something that travels through your GI tract. Is there a generation of these technologies that could travel through your bloodstream or your nervous system or other systems in the body? Oh. <laughs> no, this is for enabling technologies for those, say, injured in war that would be able to restore functions. And we're very seriously thinking about some of those applications too, where you could enable or complement someone's uh, ability that had been lost to a degenerative disease or, or trauma, say. And being able to uh, travel in the bloodstream or affect the nervous system, I think is really the next great frontier of medicine.